it's good to have something where you can sort of uh, get that confidence that you're always going to create a fire resource. And that's where a package like fire.resources comes in. Uh, let's, let's try to recreate this exact same thing. So we have the patient. And what we are going to do here is I'm going to import um, from fire.resources import dot patient import patient okay now we can just do patient and then you can actually just do the dot dot notation and you the patient object right so let's see what this looks like let's just uh, print out this right here and you see that it's converted this to um you know it's converted this to a python object right like we are now you have a validation built in so for example if i add something like if i add another field that does not exist in the fire spec what should happen here it uh it tells you that extra inputs are not permitted so we have a uh, strong validation going on here and this library can help you ensure that your resources are always valid.